This video is entirely thanks to you all because I would have never even known about this had it not been for your DMs and your comments about this particular type of jeans. So today we are going to be trying on the Old Navy three sizes in one jeans that I am very apprehensive about. In case you're like me and haven't heard of this, a couple of months ago, Old Navy released a pair of jeans that they claim fits up to three different sizes. According to them, it says, stay ahead of the curve with our fits you jeans. We flipped conventional sizing on its head with a game changing one size fits three silhouette that magically adjusts to your unique shape. And I was like, that sounds intriguing. I think a lot of us can relate to the fact that our bodies fluctuate depending on the time of the month, depending on the season of life we're in. And I can often find that my jeans are a little more tight sometimes and a little more loose other times. So I feel like this would be the perfect solution to that. But of course, because I am your guinea pig and I'm gonna test this out for you, I ordered three different pairs. They are only available currently in skinny jeans. That's kind of a bummer. I don't really wear skinny jeans anymore, but for those of you that do, here I am testing it out for you. So I ordered a couple of different shades and just tried to get as much of a variety as possible because as we know, even within the same brand, sometimes two different pairs of jeans that are the same size can fit completely differently. A couple more details that it says as far as fit and sizing goes is that they're extra high-waisted, so it's one inch higher than their standard high-rise jeans, so. We know I love that. It also says that it's fitted through the hip and the thigh with a super skinny leg. They also offer it in regular petite and tall inseams. I did see a review where someone referred to it as the sisterhood of the traveling pants and that all of her daughters tried them on that were all different sizes and it fit all of them. So I'm very curious. They come in a variety of sizes and it's available in all of the sizes that they offer, including plus sizes. So I thought that was amazing. So it comes in sizes double zero to zero, two to six, eight to 12, 14 to 18, 20 to 24, and 26 to 30. So I got all of these in the size 14 to 18 since I'm a 16, so hopefully they'll fit. I got a light wash, I got a medium wash, and then I also got a black pair. We have a lot to cover, we have a lot of jeans to try on, so let's do it. All right, so first we are going to start off with this light wash pair. Again, these are called the Old Navy Fits You Extra High Rise Rockstar Super Skinny Jeans. I got these in a size 14 to 18. They're originally Originally $54, but at the time I'm filming this, they're on sale for $46, so keep an eye out. I'll link all of these down below in case you're interested. And first impressions, they're really stretchy, like the waistband feels really stretchy. I just need to know, so we're gonna do it. We're gonna go for it. Here we go. Let's test it out. Let's see how this goes together. Oh, by the way, I get a lot of questions whenever I wear these high-waisted pairs of underwear. These are from a brand called Arc. They're a sustainable brand. They're a little bit pricey, but they're amazing quality. I have some tank tops, I have some underwear, and I'm kind of just dipping my toe into the world of high-waisted underwear, so let me know if you'd wanna see a video on that. But this video is about jeans, so let's try them on. I wanted to do like an actual live try-on to get like a true reaction, just in case something happens when I'm putting them on, you know? You never know. So far they feel completely fine. Okay. Huh. Um. Hmm. Okay, so this is what they look like. It is an extremely skinny ankle, like a very skinny ankle moment. But it also could just be because I haven't worn a pair of skinny jeans in like a while, so it just feels really tight around my ankles. But they're very, very stretchy. Like I'm able to lift up. That's a good sign. Completely able to squat like all the way down, no problems here. I would feel very comfortable actually being down here for a while. So that's good. That's a good sign, I suppose. And it looks cute. It's just interesting because they sort of just feel like a size 16 and a half. Like I'd be very curious to see how these would fit on a size 14 because it does feel like there is just a whole lot of room back here, especially in like the waist gap area, but it doesn't actually feel like they're moving or like sinking down. I'm confused. They look really good. Like, if I wore my white cowboy boots right now, we have an outfit. I'm actually kind of obsessed, I think. I will give them the actual brownie points that they're looking for as far as high-waistedness. Like, these are extremely high-waisted. But I'd be interested to see how these would fit an 18, like, or someone who had bigger calves than me, or somebody who had a smaller waist and bigger hips than me, or somebody that had a bigger waist. You know, that like, there's such a wide variety of different body types and shapes and heights, even within one size. So I'd be really curious to see, like, 
like how it fits other people. I do feel like these would be slightly big on someone who's like a true 14, but then again, I'm not, so I don't know how it would fit them. And then someone who's maybe on like a higher size of a size 18, these might be a little bit snug, but I don't know, they fit me pretty great. My only wish is that the waist was a tiny bit smaller. And that's really kind of rare for me because curvy jeans don't fit my body type well at all. I don't have like an hourglass waist. So I don't know, so far I think I like them. Which is surprising to me because spoiler alert, um, some of the reviews are really bad, really, really bad. Maybe the people who had really bad experiences with the reviews just had totally different body types than I did. But so far, I think, I think I love them. Let's keep going. Okay, next we have this sort of like mid to dark wash pair. These are exactly the same, like no difference at all whatsoever. Same fly, same exact jeans, just a different wash. So let's see. All right, the second pair of three in one, size 14 to 18. How would, how would this work? Like I'm still just sitting here reeling. Like how on earth? It might just be the way I put these on, but these don't feel as high waisted as the last pair. I need to like hike them up a bit. Okay, now that these are on, they do kind of feel exactly the same. I think it was just the way I must have put them on. You know how with skinny jeans, if you have bigger calves, like sometimes you have to pull up things higher because it's almost like they want to pull down. You, if you know, you know. These do have the same waist gap in the back here. Like it's pretty significant. So I don't know if that would bother me throughout the day, but also I don't know if that would like make me feel comfy throughout the day because <laughs> sitting down in a chair, bending over to pick something up off the ground, tying my shoes, really just anything, breathing in a pair of rigid mom jeans that are too tight around the waist, like actually make you want to die. So maybe if you have a little bit more room, it'll be more pleasant. This is just fascinating to me like to me this just feels like I'm wearing a size 16 pair of jeans so in my mind I'm trying to zoom out and be like okay how would this fit a 14 how would this fit an 18 would this fit either of them it is really stretchy like I said so it does feel like it could stretch a little bit more but especially on my calves it doesn't feel like it could go that much further I don't have a very big butt so I feel like you know if you had a bigger butt than me you could probably there's room for growth and definitely in the waist as well but interesting because they are staying up. Maybe it is like a stronger stretch material. And it's interesting too, because now I'm noticing when I bend my leg, you can sort of feel the structure of like the pattern and how they made these and like wove them together. And it does feel like pretty tight. Like it feels like pretty intact. I don't know, like it doesn't seem like it would stretch out that much. So I don't know what kind of like technology they use for this, if any, if it's just a marketing ploy, but it does sort of feel like it would stay low key. When I first heard about these, I was like, oh, that sounds intriguing. Let me check it out. And then when I read the reviews, I was kind of like, oh, this might be a nightmare. Let's check it out. And now I'm kind of like, what is my opinion? Like, I think, I think I love these, but am I just, do I just like them because they're a cute pair of jeans that I'm putting on? Or do I like them for what they are and what they have the potential to be, which is like to conform to my body. I'm trying to sit here and like go through this with a fine tooth comb and a microscope to think of anything that I could think of that like would discourage me from wanting to purchase these. And they're like, besides them being skinny jeans, there's nothing. And I guess the waistband, like it is a bit loose, but at the same time you could wear a belt. Um, some people don't mind that there's a waist gap. You could have them taken in if you want. So there's options, but it's nice to know that if I'm particularly bloated during that time of the month, or if I gain a little bit of weight, like these will grow with me, hopefully. Or as my body fluctuates and changes, if I lose weight, hopefully these would fit me as well. We have one last pair to go and it's a black pair. So I feel that those would be the most telling if there was like a size discrepancy. So we're gonna keep investigating and maybe I will come to a little bit more of a conclusion by the last pair, but who knows? Last but not least, here we have it, the black pair. These do feel a bit smaller and I have preconceived notions about black jeans, like they always fit smaller. I think all of us have a little bit of residual trauma from trying on black jeans and being like, what size are these? I will try to pull it up a little tighter on my calves now, okay hiking it up a little bit more. I can't tell if it's because I wore the last pair for like 10 minutes and broke them in a little bit, but these do feel a little tighter. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, these are tighter. Okay, as I suspected, these definitely are tighter. I'm a little out of breath, I need a moment. Why is putting on jeans so strenuous? 
please let me know like I'm sweating right out of the gate I like these I like the way they fit I actually kind of like the way they fit in the waist more than the other two pairs the one thing that I haven't mentioned thus far and I feel like has gotten more severe or maybe I've just noticed more as I've progressed trying on these pairs of jeans but the seams are very very rough and I can sort of feel it a little bit it's a little softer but I can feel it like around the edge of the jeans as well like around the kind of top of the waistband I don't know if that has something to do with like the thread that they're using in these to make them more stretchy and supportive but it is kind of bothering me and as somebody who has like some sensitivities with sensory things especially like tags and uncomfortable clothes and things I thought I would mention that I feel like if you tucked in a shirt you'd be completely fine but I am wearing a crop top and like I can feel it this pair of jeans in particular like it does feel really supportive and really tight and like again I can perfectly squat down very comfortably I mean I can feel that it's tight you know <laughs> like it's definitely not loose by any means but it's not to the point where I feel like I'm being cut in half so I like that about it I like that they're flexible enough to you know you can, you're mobile in these if you will but my first thought when putting these on and like zipping these up and noticing that they were tighter is that I don't believe that someone who is is typically an 18 would be able to wear these. I guess I can't speak for every single person that's a size 18, but it's interesting because it does sort of feel like these are a 16. All three of these jeans that I've tried on have been more like a 16 with like a bit more room in the waist instead of a pair of jeans that you can wear if you're three different sizes. I guess I am, you know, dead on in the middle of that, so it's easy for me to say because it's neither too small nor too big. It's kind of just is it's not perfect but it's definitely I would say probably the closest fit but the next option like I mentioned before for someone who is a size 18 would be to size up to the 20 to 24 size pair and I feel like those would be too big for them it's like a bold statement to say this pair of jeans fits three different sizes it fits you someone who's a size below you and someone who's a size above you and there's just a whole lot of body types and proportions to speak for so it's interesting another thing I forgot to mention in the video was that what if you were like like fluctuated between a 12 and a 16 or like an 18 and a 20 then what size would you buy in these jeans like I get that they can't accommodate for every single person's size fluctuations but I thought that that was something that was kind of skipped over when thinking about making these jeans because not everyone is within those exact three sizes like they might be on the cusp of some other sizes so lots to think about. If you were curious about these and you were someone who was in between sizes or notices that your body fluctuates a whole lot, I would recommend trying these out. Like they're definitely not a bad pair of jeans at all. I'm kind of neutral about them. At the beginning I was like, I think I love these, but I think it's just because they look cute. I would prefer the waist to be a little bit smaller. Like I would say that this pair fits me the best. If you're looking for a true skinny pair of jeans, like these are, these are, tight. If you're feeling like you want to test it out, I would say go ahead. I mean, Old Navy has a great return policy, so they don't end up working out for you. You can always return them. And I like the idea. I really like the premise of these. I really do think that it's such a cool new idea that I haven't heard of before. It'll be interesting to see how it goes moving forward with these, like if they continue them, if they expand. So that is my most in-depth review that I can think of upon trying these on and giving you my stamp of approval. I don't think I'll be personally keeping any of these. I I probably will end up returning them maybe keep the light wash pair if I was looking for a pair of skinny jeans I would probably just order a size 16 in old navy jeans instead of wearing this pair but to each their own if you want to try it the links down below so I hope you all enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already you can also turn on my post notifications if you want to be notified every time I post a new video what are your thoughts on these jeans let me know in the comments down below of course I'm gonna link them down there in case you're interested in checking them out testing them out for yourself maybe pass them around with your friends and see how it goes if there are any other jeans that you want to see me test out in a video let me know down there in the comments I would love to test it out as you know I love love doing investigating on your behalf. I think it's so much fun and so interesting. And yeah, I just appreciate you so much for being here. I'm sending you all of my love and I will hopefully see you very soon.